Now that we've got our battery on, it's time to start adding some more electronics. So we have the battery, we have the motor back here, and this is the motor controller. So all of our wires from our brakes to our motor, uh, from our throttle, from the LCD screen to the battery, our pedal assist, everything's gonna get plugged into this little magic box here. Welcome to Velo Mobile Shop. My name is Kyle Chittock, and I own an e-bike store. I like to make electric bikes better. These are either Hygo connectors, also I've seen referred to as Juliet type connectors. They're a little waterproof type so most of the controllers I use have these. I like it because when they plug in, they're nice and tight, and they don't come apart. And like I said, they're waterproof. So even though most of these connectors are gonna be hidden inside somewhere, but just in case we have any exposed, I'm not worried about it if I go through a little bit of a puddle or get caught out in the rain a little bit. So as far as mar mounting the controller, uh, we have a few different options. Now we talked about putting a bag here for the battery earlier, and if you had that bag, you could tuck that controller right inside the bag right there. I usually like to put a piece of foam or, or something in between the battery and the controller just so you don't have this hot object sitting on another potentially warm object. Um, but we're going to mount it into a controller box. If you don't have one of these, Probably what I would recommend a lot of the time is just to mount it to the frame somewhere. Uh, so you could create a little mounting bracket and put it here. Uh, you could put it down here on the frame. This is a good spot because you have lots of airflow. It'll keep it cool. And in higher powered applications, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but it's a pretty mild 750 watt setup we're going to have here. So we're going to put the box onto the frame. And I know that looks tight, but it will fit, believe it or not. And then we're going to put the controller into this box. So this particular box is in two pieces. And uh, the screws weren't in it, otherwise that wouldn't have been so easy. So this half we set aside. And this half has two holes right here. So all we need are a couple of mounting points for it. So I'm going to use the drill and the same nut cert tool I used to put the battery on to put this right here. Now the one thing we'll have to do of course is make sure that it clears and I have the battery positioned forward just a hair um, so I can set this right here. It's clearing the rear tire and we're clearing the crank. So that's where we're going to put it for this particular bike and basically this gives us enough room to put the controller in as well as hide some of the wires. So first things first, we know that's a good spot for it. I'd recommend taking a, a sharpie or something and or a pen and marking where that's going to sit. And we don't really need this half on for this part. And then what we're going to do is basically drill a hole here, drill a hole down here, Put in a couple of nut certs and that will give us a nice strong mounting spot for our motor controller.
after you get your two nut certs in place, you'll put the back half of the controller box up towards the frame, and we have two M5 bolts that we're going to tighten down into those two nut certs. Now the front half we don't need to put on quite yet because we have a controller that needs to go here, of course. Thanks again for watching. If you're just tuning in, this is just one video in a whole series on how to build your own electric bike. So please make sure to subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you can see when the latest videos have come out. If you happen to show up in the middle of the series and you want to get back to the beginning, I'll put a link to the first one or other episodes in the description. And the previous video will be over here. And the next video I'll make sure to put over here.